If you want to take a better nap, try adding some caffeine. I'm Richard Sima. I have a PhD in neuroscience and I write about the brain for the Washington Post. Here's what you need to know about what some researchers call a nappuccino. Now, you may not expect that naps and caffeine would work well together, but here's why they do. Research shows that taking even a short 10-minute nap can improve memory, attention, and mental processing speed. But a bad nap can really suck. You ever have a nap where you wake up all groggy with no sense of where or when you are? You just experience sleep inertia. And if the sleep inertia is really bad, studies show people perform even worse after they wake up than if they had stayed up all night. A short nap plus caffeine gives you the benefits without that downside. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes to fall into deep sleep where your risk of sleep inertia is highest. Coincidentally, caffeine also takes about 20 minutes to get into our system. So keep your nap short to make it less likely and less severe. So if you drink some coffee or tea right before your nap, you kick in just as you wake up. Did anything I say surprise you? Have any questions about the brain or mental health? Leave a comment and I'd love to answer. Oh, and happy napping.